Hello everyone, we will continue that topic, how to display data of more than 128 characters in ALV for a particular field. And we finished with the whole process. Now we will understand everything in that debugging mode and we will find out also why employee ID is not displaying. So I will put a break point and we will understand each and everything in the debugging. I'm running the program. Suppose I'm giving the input 125 employee ID. Debugger started, system entered into debugging mode. I will go to desktop 3, most preferable desktop. This is your input. What the input we give? One to five. This input will go to employee ID column of this table. It will fetch the data of these four columns and data will come into this internal table. You can see this internal table has currently zero records and four columns. I'm doing F6. F6 means line by line execution. This will treat as one line. Now you can see we have five records in the internal table. Now I will go to desktop three. Now this is our field catalog. Now data is there. Now we need to prepare the field catalog. One by one, we are passing the data to work area. From the work area, we are passing it to field catalog internal table. I will simply execute F6, F6, FF6, append executed. And you can see first record in the field catalog internal table. Column position one, M, M, field name, employee ID. You can see the text, but the text we gave employee ID. Now, it will go for second. Now it appended the second record to field catalog internal table. Now this is the second record. Now it will go to third record. Now whenever it appended the third record, you can see we have three records in the field catalog internal table. Now it will go to fourth record. Append executed now. Now we have four records in the field catalog internal table. Four columns and these are the four text. So our field catalog is there. We have this particular data into this internal table. This function module will bind that data with the field catalog and display the grid format. I will execute. Done. Now, whenever we will click on to this hyperlink or hotspot, which particular, which particular user, which particular subroutine will call, user command subroutine will call. So, I will put a breakpoint into user command subroutine and we will see. I will put a breakpoint into user command subroutine and now we will understand. I will simply give the input. Now I will not debug this part. I'll go to desktop 3 and now I will simply come out through F8 key. I will simply do the execution. Now suppose I am clicking on to fifth number record. Employee ID 2, employee rating, name Akanksha and I will simply click here. And user with system will call the this user command subroutine. Now this is your internal table in which you have all the five records. We clicked on to fifth number index, fifth number record. Now you can see in this RS cell field tab index, we have the index five. We clicked on to the hotspot of this fifth of this fifth record. Yes. Now we are reading this internal table 
and fifth record from the internal table will go to work area. I will do F6. Now you can see in this work area, we have the fifth record. This is employee ID, name, employee rating, and employee feedback. Now, now we are calling the screen. If size sub RC0, we are calling the screen. Whenever we will call the screen, firstly, which event will call? PBO will call process before output. Now I'm going into PBO of the screen. This is PBO. Now, it is creating the, your GUI status. It is creating that title bar. Now, just see here. We have the employee ID too. We are passing it to LV underscore employee ID. It means the data is perfectly, perfectly. It is passing the correct value. Now, if I will simply do F8, just see employee ID is still not coming. It means problem is with the designing of the layout. When I designed the layout, there was some problem there because logic is working fine. Value is successfully passed. So this is the way you can come on to the conclusion where the problem is. Suppose if I will go to layout of the screen. If I will go to our program, I will go to 100 screen layout and I will check. Have I given the wrong name or what I did? I will check. I will go to the screen. I will simply, simply go to layout. Screen painter will open. It will take some time. Yes. Okay. It opened. Now, if I will double click here, you can see LV EMP ID. I gave LV underscore EMP ID, but still why, why it is not coming. Now just see the format. Here. What is the format by default here? Character. Now employee ID is never, never character. It will not accept the alphabet. It's only, only a dedicated numeric field. So I will simply change the format to numeric. Extremely important. And in the projects, we face these kinds of issues. I will save and I will simply close. And we will activate and check. Is it working fine or the see? Because first thing is we need to come on to the conclusion where the problem is. Now I will simply, simply run. Now I will pass the input, we will execute. I will not debug this part, ALV part. Now I will simply do F8. Now I will click on to fifth number. Now this part we already executed. We will go to PBO of the screen and now we will understand rest. It is creating PF status or GUI status. Yes, title. We pass the employee ID. Now we will create the object of the container. Currently, the object has not created. Now the object will create. The object of container is created. Now the object of text edit has not created. Now the object of text edit will create and container will act as parent. Now you can see the object of text edit created. Now this is our feedback, 150 characters. We are passing it to internal table. Now you can see this feedback passed to this internal table. Full feedback is there. Now the object is created. If the object is created, can I call the method set toolbar? Yes, we are setting it to false. Now we are setting the status bar to false. We are making the text in read only. Now we are binding the feedback or we are binding the text with the text edit. And now you can see we have the expected output. 
employee ID is coming. Yes, everything is coming perfectly fine. Now, whenever I will click on to this button, which event will call this PAI will call and we have written the logic in the PAI. Now, what I will do to understand this, I will put a breakpoint in PAI. Just see, I will simply, simply write the logic in, simply put the breakpoint in PAI and we will understand. This is not required now. This is not required because we understood each and everything in that debugging board, I will write. Now we will understand how, how it is working. I will simply, simply go for input. I will go to execute. This input screen or selection screen, you know the th number is always thousand. Now, from whenever I will click here, we are calling the screen 100. We are calling the screen 100. Let's see. Before that, I will put a breakpoint in PBO also so that you can understand the stack. Suppose I'll put a breakpoint. I will not debug, but just I want to show you the stack. I'm running the program. I'm giving the input. Now from this particular screen, this particular output screen, we are calling the screen hunter. Just see how the stack will be. Now, if I will go to desktop three, now we are in screen 100 PBO, screen 100. Go to desktop 2 and you can see the stack. See just how the stack is. Suppose simply, if I will see whenever we started the program, you all know what is the screen number at that point of time. What is the screen number of selection screen or input screen? Thousand. So I will just give you more clarity. I will run independently. I'm running this program. If you want to go for screen number, just see what is the screen number. What is the screen number? Thousand. Of selection screen or input screen. What is the screen number? Thousand. Then we have the screen number 500. It means whenever you are giving the input and the output is coming, what is the screen number? 500. You can see what is screen number 500. So on 1000 screen, on the top of 1000 screens, we have a screen number 500. Now we are calling 100 screen on top of 500 screen. From this 500 screen, you are calling the 100 screen. So it means 100 screen is on the top of 500 screen. Just think about stack, how the stack is Suppose I am putting a book. So next book will be on top of that. Next book will be on top of that. This is how stack work. So firstly, we have 1000. Then we have 500. And then we have 100. Now I will go for execute. Now you are on 100 screen. Whenever I will cancel or click on to cancel button, PAI call. Whenever PAI will call, you can see. We put Sai Ucom cancel. Leave to screen zero. Leave to screen zero will take back to the previous stagged screen. And just see what is the previous stagged screen. 100 and what is the previous stagged screen. 500. So it will simply, simply take me back to the 500 screen. And you can see now we have the 500 screen. This is our 500 screen. This is how it is. Working. So what is the summary of this particular video? We understood each and everything in that debugging board. So if some confusions were there, it will be simply, simply cleared into this particular video. So that's it in this video. Thank you.